On April 6, 2024, the skies over Oklahoma held an unexpected surprise. For Rach, what started as a marginal day became a lesson in finding beauty in the subtle and unpredictable. Today, we'll follow their journey from a skeptical forecast to a stunning final shot, exploring how patience and adaptability can lead to remarkable imagery, even when conditions seem unfavorable. We are watching storms develop now just to our west, uh, forming off that dry line right now. Uh, quite muggy, very much uh, not. Uh, it doesn't feel low instability today. I mean, I get why it is uh, from a conceptual point of view, but it does not feel like it uh, when you step outside. Uh, so storms are forming. We're gonna uh, we're adjusting, and we'll see what happens in the next 30 minutes or so. Despite the marginal conditions, Rach's analysis pointed to a general target area in central Oklahoma, south of Oklahoma City. This region offered the best, albeit slim, chance for any potential supercell development. Uh, this thing's trying to take off a little bit. Uh, really, it's starting to look the part of a little mini supercell. We're going to keep keeping an eye on it uh, in the next 30 minutes and see if it can wrap up and do something. Against the odds, a storm began to take on supercell characteristics. This is where Rach's experience in reading a storm's photogenic potential came into play, especially on a day with such marginal conditions. Very cold looking. I don't think the things are right now. We're turning pretty into anything. Try and get time lapse as I decided to let the camera rotate. Oh, it's wonderful. As the first storm began to lose its structure, Rach faced a decision, call it a day or stay optimistic and reposition for any new development. Well, we're leaving a perfectly good supercell right now. Uh, it's moving off into the trees a little bit. Uh, and we're just not, we're not gonna follow that. I, mean, I don't wanna go east of 35 today for that at least. It looks pretty. Would not doubt if it actually goes tornado warned, uh, but we're just, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go south. Uh, and we're gonna try to see what can come out of this stuff to our south. This decision led to the unexpected highlight of the day. As evening approached, a new cell developed into a marginal supercell with a stunning glowing core. Uh, we got a bit of a blocky lowering right over that uh, cell phone tower there. Uh, it looks like it's being shoved out by outflow though, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> So uh, I'm not so sure about this storm. Definitely a supercell. I mean, you can see nice striation. You see RFD definitely wrapping around like this. Good updraft right there. But I don't think it's uh, the type that we're, I mean, this is not gonna be tornadic, I don't think. But definite supercell you're looking at here. Beautiful, uh, I mean, I think it's beautiful. It's, it, it's got some photogenic qualities if you know what you're looking for. Uh, but yeah, certainly uh, another storm, another supercell. This one looks uh, just about like the Norman one did. Well, today well, turned out about what we thought, right? Made up little baby supercells. That's our storms that just left. There's a pretty decent one right over there, but I was hoping for a backside shot, but obviously with the lake in the foreground, but that's not happening. So that's all right, I guess. Not a bad day. Can't wait to see what I got today. Uh, I got a couple pretty cool photos, I think, and uh, cool time lapses, so. Photographically, it was a, you know, two out of five. 
Wasn't one, I mean, there were storms, there were severe, there was some structure to two out of five at least. So we'll see, see what I think when I get back in the uh, workshop. But yeah, that's it. Today's done, let's go rest.